I've been asked, it's a beautiful sunny day by the way, the sheep, the lambs are still roaring and they've seen me here out in the daffodil field and they think I'm either feeding them or bringing them their mothers. But uh, I was asked about, by someone, about digging up daffodils and when is the right time to dig up daffodils and how to do it. Well, the best time to dig up daffodils is you can see the color is going here. Right here, there's still a lot of green in those uh, stems. So this is this daffodil is feeding the bulbs underneath. So what you want to do is get it when you have daffodils that are going off color and kind of yellowing. Goodness me, they certainly are very loud. Look at them all. They're hearing me chat away and think their mothers are in the vicinity. <laughs> Look at that. This is too funny. All the hoggets and lambs calling. Anyway, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate how I dig up this clump of daffodils and how I do it because this person was asking me specifically how I do it. And you can see the grass here is very tall and delicious at the moment. It's reserved. Look at the bluebells. I mean, the bluebells are spectacular at the moment. Look at that. And the lime tree is just coming out. Anyway, I'm going to get back to, I have my tools. I have my fork, garden fork, and I have the spade for replanting. This is for digging out, and that's for replanting. And I have my little tripod thingy that attached to the this while I'm digging. So I'll show you what I do with this clump here, which is fading. There's still some green, but mostly it's faded to kind of a yellow. And um, it could wait a little bit longer, but I'm just gonna do this for demonstration. It's not like I have a shortage of daffodils. There's loads all over. So now I'm gonna set up to show you how I dig this out. Okay, now this is the clump that I'm gonna dig out. And the person said she's not very strong. So my advice to do is to just go like that if you can, and you wiggle the fork, and you do this all the way around the clump. Ooh. And you dig it down deep. And there again. And there again. Using your weight to do the work for you. Don't use your strength. So, oh look, there we go. And see there is that pile of bulbs. And here they separate beautifully easily. So here you can see this is a clump of soil. You shake it off and you separate them out. And there are the bulbs. So that is how you can separate out the bulbs. There we go. And we can do even more. You just dig in, they just pop out. It's dead easy. Very, very easy. And then you can give daffodils to friends. Now, I can't remember which kind this is, but um, that doesn't matter. It's a lovely gift to someone. So I'll replant some of these. Then you get here, I want to show you this. Here, you can see this is a bulb with a baby attached. You can just do that, like that. And there's roots there, and there's roots there. This one is one, two, three, four different bulbs. So you just break it away, there's roots. Break it away, there's roots. Break it away, there's roots. And break it away, or that's it. So that little clump 
that's how they multiply is you can see the shape of where it was against another one. So this now, I have loads of daffodils that I can give away as gifts to other people. And mind you, like I said, I don't know what they look like, but a gift of a daffodil is a gift of a daffodil, unless the person doesn't like daffodils then they won't want your gift of a daffodil. And I do, I do have friends who hate daffodils. So obviously I wouldn't give them those daffodils. Anyway, there you go. Those are, that is um, how you dig up and separate, not using strength, just using your weight. And then that's how you can see a mulp a two and separate it and they have roots on either side. Now, in a minute, I'll plant some of these and show that. Now, this is my clump of daffodils. I've returned some of them back in, so there's some remaining where the original was and stomp that down a little bit. And then these, I will re-sow a percentage of and then I will give some away to friends but they're all different sizes. And the thing to remember is that next year they might not flower for, they might and they might not. One or two years, it totally depends. And don't worry, this one here, the fork, <laughs> bear's getting very involved and started kissing me. No, I don't want to be, and look, Inca wants to help replant them. Are you replanting them? Are you digging it in there? Yes, obviously Inca's helping redig. <laughs> <laughs> planting daffodils. Now, if you slice it with the fork like this, you can still plant them. And uh, it's highly likely they'll take because daffodils are quite hardy. And then it might not. But if you have that many from leaving daffodils in a, in a situation for many, many years, then um, you're okay. Yet yeah, Inca's definitely helping plant daffodils. Whereas some people are just lying down and observing. Now I'm going to put the tripod on the fork, garden fork, because I will be planting with the um, spade. So now I have to redo that as Inca's digging a hole for some daffodils. Definitely. Busy dog. Now one of the best ways to plant daffodils is to literally just toss them, whoops, toss them about and see where they fall. And while they have their green stems on them, you can then plant them. So it makes it kind of natural looking like that, okay? And here's a few more. I'll do a few more. So you toss them about to make it look like a natural plantation of daffodils. Now, all you do is go in there, wobble it back and forth, and slide the bulb in and step down. Again, wobble it back and forth plant the bulb, pick up the next bulb, wobble it back and forth, plant it in the slit, stamp, stamp, and you can also, you can also put two bulbs together. So you can do this, and at either side of the at either side of the slice, you can put a bulb. So that might be a quicker way to add bulbs where you want to go. So that is how I'm doing it. Wiggle, stomp, wiggle, plant, and then you can put two on either side of the slice mark.
here's two, one, one, and two on either side of the slice. So it's easy as that. Hopefully that answered a lot of questions and showed how it's done. As you can see, two dogs are in attendance as Inca digs her hole. Hey, Inca, Inca, can I plant some bulbs in there now? You look like you're just having too much fun. You don't want to plant bulbs. You just want to keep digging. You're a silly pup. Oh, they're all... <laughs> I'm going to have to rescue my bulbs now. They're all walking all over them. But I'll go and give those as gifts to friends. <laughs> She's really at it. Look at that. Definitely. And look at the audience. There we go. <laughs> and the sheep have all calmed down. I made my appearance. They all screamed at me and now they've settled to eating and lying down. All those lambs. My black spots on the far horizon. And my gardening dogs. <laughs> Inca digging <laughs> for daffodil bulbs. I think she's digging them out now rather than planting them. <laughs> Inca, Inca, come here. What are you doing? Come here. Come here. <laughs> A bear wants to. Oh dear. <laughs> they all want to get involved. Inca doesn't want to stop digging her daffodil bulb hole. <laughs> Can I see what you're doing? Can I see? Look. Look at that. Now, can I plant some daffodils in there, please? Can I? Can I? Can you stop? <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy. And these two are playing here. <laughs> oh. Life with dogs. You're never short of entertainment. Ha, 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 ha.